Welcome to the vlog. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that Pretty Basic is up for our first award ever. We are up for a Webby Award, so if you guys want to click the link down below, you can vote. We'd appreciate it so, so much. I love you guys. Let's roll the vlog. Last time on Rem Life. I did get hit on the freeway. Full story time will be coming in the next vlog for you guys, but that was crazy. Hi guys. Okay, last time I talked to you, we went to the wrong movie theater. That was totally my fault. Big shout out, AMC was really helpful and fully refunded us, and now we can go back another time. So yes, after the movie incident, we came home, we got drunk, it was really fun. Yesterday was an awful day. I was very hungover from the drinking the night before. Both Cal and I were, and Cal really wanted dim sum, which is like Chinese dumplings, and it's like a really like fun weekend thing to do. But I felt so bad about the movie still. I was like, you know what, you stay home, play your video games, do whatever you want. I'm gonna go pick up the dim sum and we will come home and enjoy it. He was like, wow, thank you so much. Then I drive to go pick up the dim sum and there's no parking spots on the street. So I was like, oh, I had to pull really closely into the parking lot that like went underground and I had to go quickly because the street was busy. So I pulled down really quickly. This parking structure was not made for very tall cars. And right now I have a big car as well as a ski rack on my car. I hear boom, I get out of the car. One of the ski racks has knocked off. Normally my car could have fit under, but one of the pipes are like sticking out and I didn't see it and it shouldn't have been sticking out in the parking structure and it knocked the ski rack off. So I got out of the car, put the ski rack back into the car, had to maneuver it somehow inside to make it fit and I can put it on later. I backed out and went around that one pole that was sticking out. So finally I parked the car, I run inside to the restaurant and they said it would be ready at a certain time. I got there on the minute of that certain time and then it ended up being another 30 minutes on top of that. So I was just standing there waiting. Not a big deal, but it plays into the story. So I'm just kind of waiting, 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 waiting. Finally I get the food, I get back in the car and I'm going to leave and I had to pay for the parking for the structure and I'm looking around for the ticket. I can't find it anywhere. I'm freaking out. I don't know where it is and I realized it probably fell out when I ran out of the car to get the ski rack. So I ended up having to pay for the lost ticket fee and so that was a bummer and then the guy was really nice though and then I left and so I was like, bad morning, it's okay. Just like a, a lot of unlucky things. You're good. We're good. We drive home. I am 10 minutes away from home. I'm on the freeway. I'm at where like the freeway veers and there's two different freeways and it's at a standstill on one side. So I'm veering towards the freeway that I need to get on and and I'm noticing a lot of cars are starting to break ahead and they're starting to slow down. And there's usually a lot of traffic on this freeway. So I'm like slowing down, I come to a stop, very nice and very safely. And I'm looking at the car in front of me and I'm like, oh my gosh, they have a Hawaii license plate. I miss Hawaii, I can't wait to go back one day. And then boom, boom! <laughs> From behind me, I scream. I should probably stop screaming right now. I get hit from the back. My car shoots forward. I was freaking out. I didn't know how bad the damage was, but I got hit pretty hard from the back. And I'm like three lanes from like the little side area of the freeway, so I was pretty close. So I just put my blinker on. Are you good? I put my blinker on, and then myself and the guy behind me pulls over, and we just kind of like go over. Luckily, as I said, there was a lot of traffic, so it wasn't like super scary to get out, and like cars were going really fast. So I get out of the car, and I'm like shaking like a little chihuahua. I was trying to like talk, and I could just, I couldn't even get words out. I was totally fine. I think I was just like shaken up from the whole situation. So I'm out of the car. The guy comes over. He's so nice and so apologetic, which made me feel so much more comfortable. You know, if they were really mean, I'd be a lot more scared. And I almost screamed you guys because I've now been in two accidents in my life, both of which were pretty much the exact same situation where I was just on the freeway. I had been stopped. And I think the people who hit me just weren't paying attention. They didn't have time to stop fast enough. And I got rear-ended both times on the freeway, exact same situation and exact same car. I'm not kidding. I got out. I saw it was like a Ram giant truck. They're like massive, massive trucks. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, what are the chances? It wasn't the same people, obviously. I got hit one time when I was in college, if you guys remember that vlog, back in my old car, and that car was really safe and really helped me out. In that situation, it was a lot, lot, lot worse. That car that hit me before was going way faster and didn't have enough time to stop, and it hit me so hard. My airbags deployed, and my car was totaled, and it was really scary. This situation, my car is definitely not 
okay. I think that a lot of the back needs to be like completely replaced because a lot of it is like completely like broken. I think just because these cars that hit me are just so, so big. But luckily yesterday, no airbags were deployed. My car was totally able to drive. It's just like a few things on like the side and the back are just like really messed up. But most of all, we were both okay. Everything was totally good. But I was just like, oh my God, I should have just stayed home. What a bad luck day. The signs were there from the beginning as things were happening that just like it was gonna get worse. Honestly, being involved in that one a few years ago made this one so much easier for me. Like I remember back when I got hit a few years ago, I was like really unable to move the next day. I was in so much pain. I had to go to chiropractors and things. Today, I'm feeling totally fine. I don't even have a headache or anything. I definitely in the moment, I tensed up so I felt my neck like whip. And yesterday when I got home, my back was hurting a bit. But like today, I feel good as new. I am so happy. I'm so blessed. The guy was so nice and so sweet and so helpful. And we've already like filed the claim and everything. So it should be fine. But yes, yeah, so that was my yesterday. And I came home and Cal was so worried and we just watched movies movies all night and it was a really nice way to end the weekend. So yes, that was my car accident story. I'll keep you guys updated with everything. I'm sure it's gonna be totally fine, totally fixable. I am so, 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 so excited, you guys, because I told you either in this vlog or a recent vlog that I'm finally getting all my closets and things installed over the next few days. So I've been working for the past few months with the Larios Project, which I will link them down below, you guys. They're the most amazing small business that create the coolest different like custom wood projects, whether it's like a closet or a bed frame or a nightstand or whatever it is you need, they're so great. And finally, everything is ready to get installed. So we're starting today, and probably sometime around next week after everything is installed here in the house, I'm actually gonna be flipping some of the rooms around. We've been here officially for over a year now, which is crazy, it's gone by so quickly. And whilst living here, I've realized that I wanna switch around the placement of some of the rooms. Basically, I'm gonna be making my studio downstairs because this room is way bigger in the guest room. We don't have a lot of guests come over here, so it's kind of just like a waste of space for the bed down here. And I wanna make that room my studio and make make it have like a fun background for filming. There's already those like pull downs in there. We keep all the lights in there right now. So I figured I'll just move the guest room up into the office and then switch the two around. I'm so, so excited. It's gonna be so fun. So I'll keep you guys updated with all that. Today though, in particularly, in order for them to put all the closet stuff in, I need to go in and clean out all the closets upstairs. So we're gonna go do that right now. Let's go. My queen watching Sarah Schultz. My room is messy. I always do so well and I clean it so well and then uh, I start just dumping things on the floor. Bestie, I'm afraid to tell you this. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to move this mirror. Oh, no. Am I strong enough? Let's see. Okay, here's the plan. I'm actually gonna be getting rid of this mirror right here that I've had for so many years that I love so much. I'm gonna be just bringing it over to the Pretty Basic studio. So it'll still be mine, just not in the house. So, I think what I should do first, kick all these clothes over. Yeah! Yeah! What I'll do is... Take this out. <laughs> the dogs are scared. Okay, that goes there. Where do I put that big mirror for now? I guess I can take this down for now. Oh, idea. Okay, I'm gonna move the couch over. Oh God. Strong legs come in handy, my friends. Woo, okay. And I think for now, woo. Uh, oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh my God. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and the floor is not scratched. We are good. All right, Mira's gonna stay here for a minute. She will move eventually because it's blocking a lot of the light and the doors. But this is a closet. And as you can see, this is a decently sized closet, but this house didn't even come with like a single clothing rack as if someone were to like make this a normal closet. And I've been able to stack some stuff, but there's just so much wasted space all the way up to the top. So they're gonna be putting in shelves and drawers and things to organize the makeup. And they also built like a little rack kind of thing so I can slide in my luggage underneath which is really exciting so this is a situation we got going on easily I can take this stuff out no big deal give me two seconds All right, just like that, closet is transformed. She's open. That took like a minute maybe. And pretty soon this room is gonna be looking very different. So excited. All right, now for the other closet. I'm a little more scared about this one. All right, now onto the closet. That's definitely a little bit more full than the other one. This is my tech closet for right now. Also, we've got like overflow of like skis and ladders and things in here because there's no storage in this house. But this is my tech closet where I keep all of my like tech supplies. I've got cameras in there, all my cords and wires, mics, monitors, things like that. So I've got to get all these things out and put them, I guess probably in that bathroom for now until I can move it. I'm unsure. Let's see. All 
All right, closet is cleaned out. Also, these doors are often having problems and they kind of run off the runner kind of things. So new doors are getting put on this as well. So excited for you guys to see what it looks like in the end. All right, it's later, lunchtime. We've been doing a lot of stuff around the house today. We got CPK for lunch and I ordered this little mini pizza. It's their veggie pizza. It's got like broccolini, corn, sun-dried tomatoes, onions, mushrooms on top. I'm like a sucker for anything veggie for some reason. Working on work stuff, also watching Stas's vlog right now. Hi guys, okay, all of the closet stuff is getting refilled. It looks so good, I'll keep you updated. I'm currently filling up my pill organizer with all of my new care of medicine. I've got my PCOS medicine here and I'm just doing my organizing, which I live for. So we'll speed through this. Hi guys, okay, it's a couple days later from when I last talked to you. To be fully honest, I don't remember when I last talked to you, but I am here coming at you on a Thursday night. We're having Mamma Mia pizza. That was so cringy. <laughs> okay, I thought I would show you guys what we got going on. Today's been a pretty chill day, just getting some work stuff done. Cal and I are going to make this pizza dough tonight. I believe I got this from Thrive Market a very long time ago. No, she's not expired, I did check. This is the Simple Mills Almond Flour pizza dough and I'm currently making it. Basically I just mixed together apple cider vinegar, a little bit of avocado oil and water and I'm just forming it till the dough comes together and I thought we could do a little taste test, see if it's any good. So far she's looking crumbly and I think it said I can add a little more water if need be. So let me try and get this to come together. She looks like cookie dough and smells like herbs. Our pizza is mixed and rolled out. It's definitely more of like a cookie dough kind of feel but I bake this now for 15 minutes then we take it out put toppings on it. They're a little small. They're like little flatbreads. This one's way prettier than that one, but let's bake them. See how this goes. Set a timer for 15 minutes. All right, crusts are out of the oven. They actually smell really good. They're halfway done. Now we put the sauce and the cheese on and then let it bake again. Also, I forgot I boiled Korean radish earlier. This is like my favorite thing ever. Just boiled radish, super good. All right, now we decide on toppings. I'll show you. My pizza's done. I did no sauce because I didn't feel like sauce. With cheese, we got mozzarella cheese. Then I did a bunch of broccoli because I figured why not have roasted broccoli with some shredded chicken breast. Cal did tomato sauce with <laughs> cheese. I'm attempting to drizzle. And chicken and barbecue sauce. This is the tomato sauce that we used. It's not a pizza sauce, but it's from Primal Kitchen. It's also from Thrive Market. It's their roasted garlic marinara sauce. It's bomb. Okay, back in the oven, 15, 20 minutes. I like mine crunchy, so I'm gonna do 20. The pizza is out. I took a little mini nibble on this slice right here. It's good. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. I'm gonna add a little bit of this chili crunch on top. Chrissy Teigen sent me this. Yes, Chrissy Teigen actually did send me this. I've never tried it yet, but I feel like this pizza just needs like a little bit of spice. So I'm gonna put a little bit on. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Is it good? Not bad. Not bad for healthy pizza, right? Mm -hmm. All right, little chili crunch. Boom, dinner is served. Hi guys, sorry this vlog has been so mishmashy, but hello, it is Saturday morning, actually Saturday afternoon, and the fam is out on the road. We're gonna go get some lunch together, run some errands. Momo is in her new car seat for the first time. As you can see, we're having a little bit of a fit. She's still a puppy, she's still getting used to things. The Mariah Whistletone's going, Daisy for you, she's absolutely chilling like a villain. <laughs> Could not be bothered less. Oh good Mo, we're being quiet, there it is. I knew she'd get used to it. So yeah, we're gonna go run some errands, get some lunch, have a nice little family outing. The house is almost done with all of the amazing renovation stuff that I told you guys about. I'm gonna give you a tour when we get home. They're finishing most of the stuff today, which is so exciting. This week has been absolutely crazy, so that's why everything's been kind of jumbled, but no worries, I'll keep you updated. Let's go get lunch, what do we want? There's so many options. Well, we definitely want ice cream. We're not sure where we're gonna go eat. We'll keep you updated. Chips and queso. We made it! I'm on Momo duty. Cal's on Daisy duty. Oh, Daisy wants to be with me? You want to take Mom? I'm on Daisy duty. Come on, Daisy. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's get lunch. Come on. Good girls. Come on, Mommy. We're still getting used to walking. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. There. Oh, there we go. We made it to lunch. We are here. <laughs> we got her a harness that fits her. I was giving her Daisy's hand-me-downs, but they were too big. So we got her one that fits her. We're sitting by this beautiful fountain and we're getting Italian food. Woo! 
with no queso today. <laughs> Sorry, Cal. Hello, <laughs> days. Mommy. We're being very well behaved. Iced coffee, water, Cal. Yeah. Yeah. Cal and I are obsessed with Cal. <gasps> Cal and I are obsessed with calamari. I got the pup on my lap to keep her from going nuts. Got the little sloth right there. She's so good. All right, we still got a Momo. We got a pasta to split, and they were so nice, we didn't even ask. They split it into two bowls. Such great service. And then we've got a mushroom onion pizza. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, do a cheese bowl. Nope, nope no cheese bowl, but smells good. <laughs> Side of unseasoned chicken for the ladies. Oh, we're excited. Chicken, chicken, chicken. There you go, baby. Good girls. I went and checked out the ice cream flavors for my aunt because we're going to bring her some ice cream. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Lunch was bomb. We're having some ice cream. Got mint chip. Mmm. Sitting in these like lawn chairs. What a wonderful Saturday. This is great. This is really good. It's uh -huh. such a beautiful day out. Look at this little plaza. Mmm. Hey hoes, what up? It's dark in the car. Okay, we're giving ghost hunters realness with this light. I haven't touched up my makeup since I put it on this morning, so we're looking crusty. I do have quite a bit of energy. That is because I just chugged a Celsius at 9.07 p.m. So as I just said, it is 9 p.m. on a Saturday night, and I'm gonna go pick up Ollie, and we are going to go on a fun food adventure because that's what you do on a Saturday night with your best food friend. As we all know, Ollie and I are both food and we are obsessed with TikTok. And there's been this cookie place that's been going viral on TikTok that we've been wanting to try. I looked it up and the closest one is actually very close to my hometown. So we've got quite a drive in front of us. We got the energy. We're gonna go pick up some cookies. I just called them because I've made the mistake before where I'd go on a long drive to go get some specific snack or food that I really wanna try. We get there and they're sold out. So this place is called Crumbles, Crumble Cookies. I think they're all over the US, but again, there's like none in LA. The closest one is in Orange County. They come up with new cookies every single week and the reason why I must go tonight is because if you don't know, my favorite candy bar is a Twix. I love literally anything Twix with my whole heart. And this week only, they have a Twix cookie, like a chilled Twix cookie, and I just, I need it, you guys. And this weekend is the last weekend to get it. So, we're gonna get some Raisin Cane's while we're out there. I am very excited. So come along with us on a food adventure and let's go pick up Ollie. And hopefully they have, oh, by the way, I called them and they said they're sold out of a lot of cookies, but she said if I come a little bit later because they're open till midnight, they keep making cookies. So she's like, come a little bit closer to closing and we'll have cookies. And I was like, girl, I got you. We got to drive ahead of us. Let's go. We've arrived at Cookies. Crumble. It's a brisk 10.30 p.m. There is a long line forming, but we oh are gosh. here. We're also right across the street. There's like, there's a lot of cars. Wait, I, is this the line for the, the cookies? <gasps> what are the cars? Oh, wait. Oh, do they wait in the car and they bring them? There's like 50 cars there. Oh, I think you have to order and then you have to wait for them to call your name and they bring oh, them out. <gasps> oh, this is going to be a long wait. TBD, guys. we will keep you updated. One, it smells amazing in here. Two, I think they're sold out of the Twix cookie. <laughs> I saw some tears come I, out. <laughs> it's all I wanted. <laughs> I will wait until She's midnight. I will wait until midnight. I need the Twix cookie. You guys have spotted Twix cookies right there. I don't know if they've already sold, but I see it right there. You should ask for the display. Can I have that one? Oh yeah, I'll use the display. <laughs> I have awful news. <laughs> The two that I wanted, which was either the Twix or the sugar cookie, were sold out. And she's emotional. Worst, worst of all, they're gone after tonight. Should we go to another location? Wait, Let's try. We did place an order for the other cookies that were there, but it's gonna be 45 minutes, so we're gonna. I'm gonna get a cane. I was gonna say <laughs> that, and also maybe there's another location. We made it to Raisin Canes. The wait was perfect. By the time we're gonna order, get Chickie's food. Hell yeah, brother. And get back to cookies. It'll be perfect timing. Period. Period. In case you She's don't know what away. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, bye. Okay, in case you don't know what raisin cane is, I'm pretty sure everyone does, but all they have here is just chicken tenders. Just canes. Just canes. Just chicken tenders, fries, bread, and coleslaw. Hell Simple yeah, menu. Bomb. Oh, I gotta go forward. Also, updates. Oh, I gotta pay. As I was saying, there are no other crumble locations within 30 miles, so I think I'll have to recreate those cookies eventually. I I think I know how to do it. I'm only concerned about, I don't know what the texture of their cookie was like, and I'm not sure how to make the caramel thick enough, but I, I think maybe, I think it's just a matter of sugar and heavy whipping cream. So we will figure it out. We're gonna do some recipe testing. Listen, it's cooking with Remy. Cookie okay? with Remy. Cook <gasps> cookie, cookie with, with Remy. Remy. <laughs> <laughs> we got the cookies. 
three chocolate chip, one cake batter, two s'mores. These ones are for Cal. These ones are for Chicky. These ones are for me. <laughs> Perfect. Bro. Wait, this is so we po we posted our phones there. Why does this look good? We're animated. Oh my god. Okay. Obviously, we have to taste look these cookies, guys. Animated. They serve them while they're warm, so we have to take a little bite. Which one do you I want, baby? I want the classic. Me too. You want to split this? Yes, please. <gasps> Oh my god, cookie break. It's oh, so it's big. so if you like a doughy cookie. Oh no, the camera's gonna die. I better eat fast. We gotta cheers it. One, two, three. Oh my god. Oh mm. my god. Mm -hmm. I love her. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my god. It's more cakey. Than I I Love a cakey cookie. I will say it still doesn't be Levain, Levain, whatever you want to call it. It is pretty good though. The inside is really doughy. The flavor is pretty subtle. You know what I mean? I can't explain it. <laughs> it's good. It's like a very soft in texture and soft in taste. It has cookie. a good dough. It's good. I like the crunch. It tastes regal. Mm hmm. I'm like already satisfied with those couple bites. Yeah. Mm, decadent. Drove an hour. Let's go home. The girl who was checking us out at Crumble was like, oh my God, I listened to Pretty Basic. She was so sweet. And she goes, did you drive all the way here for this? And we were like, Yep. You were like for the Twix cookie what? I did. <laughs> One more bite. I'm upset. I normally don't like crunchy cookies, but I like the outside of this. We'll get Cal's reaction later. He's gonna love it. They're like uh -huh. buttery. My fingers are sticky. It's the next day. It is the afternoon. Last night I didn't get home till 12:30 a.m. I had a wonderful night's sleep. I slept in. I'm also eating this jelly thing. Last week I went to the Korean market because I wanted to get stuff for a cooking video, and I picked up these little cognac jelly packs. I got them because I've seen them on TikTok as I do with everything in my life. But I've seen K-pop stars eat this stuff and it is so good. If you guys remember, like when I was a kid, I used to eat these little Asian jellies that came in this big plastic tub. It usually was shaped like a bear or had like a weird animal shape. And then inside there were like small little individual jellies. Some of them had like lychee bits and things inside. This tastes like it. It's so good. Yesterday on our way home from going out to lunch, we stopped at my aunt's house, brought her some ice cream that she wanted and she gave me my birthday gift. My birthday's in February, but she got this personalized. So it took a really long time to get made and I have to show you guys because it is so cool. So my aunt and uncle for my birthday got me the AirPods Max, which I am so excited about. Alicia has these and she edits with them and they look really, really cool. In case you didn't know, I well, when I first saw this, I was like, is this a purse? These are the new headphones that Apple just came out with that look like this and they got me the blue ones, which are beautiful and they sound so good. There's like a little, oh, they connected. There's like a little dial here and then an on button here and they got them engraved as I said and you can see here at the top she got little emojis engraved there's two dogs one for Ma one for Daisy she got me a star because she said I'm a star and a heart because she loves me which is so cute so yes I'm so excited to have these all right so I'm gonna end this vlog here I know this has been a mishmash of a vlog but I hope you guys loved it nonetheless I've been having so much fun vlogging for you guys also the house tour just went up on the main channel today so if you have not seen that already and you want to see the full-blown in detail house tour for this house go watch it I know you guys are all missing Eli so actually Eli came back and helped me film that one for you guys so if you want to go check it out go check it out on that note I love you I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'll see you in the next one bye